Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make API calls for Shopify the right way. This is super important, we're gonna jump right into it. And when you wanna work with Shopify webhooks and APIs, it's kind of annoying, it's a little bit hard to do. Up until now, you'd need to create your own private app on Shopify in order to integrate your store with Shopify webhooks and external APIs. Not always the easiest thing to do. Most of the time you're gonna to need to hire a developer or work with some code or create some type of custom setup here to achieve your goals in terms of integrating. I'm gonna show you the right way to do it, the easiest way to do it, when you wanna really work with Shopify webhooks and APIs at a high level. And really a popular strategy right now is to use API ease. They make it really easy to make secure, authenticated API calls directly from your Shopify store or webhook without needing to create and deploy a custom app. Very, very easy to do when you do it this way, and it's gonna save you a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of aggravation when it comes to working with these webhooks and APIs. There's definitely no built-in way to do this with Shopify. It's possible to call an API from your storefront, but you need to be using custom liquid code. This is Shopify's code. And Shopify doesn't provide a way for you to do this in a secure manner. That's the most important thing here because any credentials that you might need to call or might need to use with an API, they're vulnerable for anyone who's looking to go ahead and see. And Shopify web webhooks, they're only able to execute a post with the parameters from the webhook event. We need to set these up correctly in order for this to work right. And custom parameters, they can only be added as query parameters. So we're gonna have to, again, have this all set up. This is a little bit technical, you know, definitely for people that understand how and why to use APIs, but this is by far the best way to do it. And I'm gonna show you some examples as we go over the shoulder, but if you wanna implement this strategy, you're gonna be using APIEs. This is what I highly recommend. I'm gonna show you this step-by-step step again, but you see the link directly below this video, APIEs Shopify app. Really easy to use, really easy to set up. All you need to do, click the link, get that in your store, and I'm gonna show you that link right now. Here is API ease for that safe API integration. We're gonna go over the shoulder, but very, very low cost API integration, very easy, very secure. It's gonna work with any API, even meta API, which is known to be a little bit annoying. You can make your HTTP get, post, delete, put, patch, or option calls over here, all from your store or your webhook. All you need to do is press the install button right over here. This is gonna get API ease in your store. You can literally just come over here, click install. It's gonna bring you over here. You'll log in to your Shopify admin and you'll simply come over here and click the install button. This is going to get API ease installed in your store. Very, very easy to use. And once it's in here, I'm gonna show you the power of what we can do. So when you are in the API ease app, you're gonna have the dashboard over here, home. This is going to be where we have the ability to do different types of API requests. And you see the four options here. We'll come back to this in a second. Here you're gonna find your actual requests over here. You'll see them listed one by one. Here's gonna be your pricing. So you're gonna start off on the free tier. You're gonna get you 100 API calls for free. And then you see the different plans are really just based on how many calls you're going to need on a monthly basis. You see enterprise going all the way up to 500,000 calls a month over here at 1,000 calls for the starter plan. Very, very great pricing over here. Very easy to use as well. Documentation, you're gonna to wanna to jump into this, okay? This is gonna show you all the different possibilities in terms of how it works and how you're gonna make all the requests the correct way, how you're going to authenticate as well. Remember, API Ease does an incredible job of keeping everything secure and authenticated. This is something that you're just not going to find if you were going to use any other type of kind of hack or solution to get APIs working here, you're gonna get them working easily. <clears throat> you're gonna get them working easily and they're gonna be secure. So make sure you read through the documentation over here, a little bit on the technical side, but of course APIs are, but really simplifies things as much as possible. You'll be able to see how to do everything. Also webhooks, ability to do that inside here as well. Now we're gonna go through the demo you're gonna see some kind of different various examples, uh, but before we jump in, I do wanna call attention to their support team. Very, very great support, seemingly are almost available 24 seven, highly recommend it. 
And they really help you understand exactly not only what's capable, but how to kind of get into the specifics of building these really cool API integrations. So shout out to the support team at APIEs for sure. Highly recommended. If, they have, if you have any questions at all through the process, make sure you uh, uh, hit them up. And you see they're you know, right in the inside of the app on the right-hand side here. So uh, we can take a look at some of these uh, dumps. We're going to be going into, I'm sorry, some of these um, demos. The first one we're going to be is using is the HTTP dump. And uh, this is just kind of a, uh, a cool service. It's a free service that gives a unique URL to send requests to. And what we're going to do this is basically using this just to kind of show you how to uh, make some simple requests here and how uh, API Ease is going to work. So you'll be able to run this demo yourself. You could actually take all this code and put it into your own store. But you see the demo store over here on the uh, APIEs hyphen demo. And you'll be able to get to this store as well. It lists it right over here. It says, uh, please use the following password to access the store. And uh, we're going to go over here to uh, this page is what we're looking at. And now we're going to come over here onto that actual page. So this is just a cool way to test APIEs requests. What we're going to be able to see are the query parameters, the header, and the body. You see those are going to be set up over here. All we need to do is submit the following form, and you're going to see APIEs call an HTTP dump address. Automatically, this is what the API is doing in the background. So this is going to be where the response is. These are going to be the parameters. So we see the information over here, query parameter, header, body. Right? We're going to come over here, and I'm going to uh, make some changes, and just so you can see how this is going to be uh, shown. And we're going to uh, enter this in. All we need to do is now press the submit button. This is going to now call the HTTP dump. You can see the post that was made here. Right? We see this information over here. We're going to go into the HTTP dump again. This is just a testing app. And we're going to see our information right here. You see value one Justin, just like I put in there inside. And if we come over here and I'm going to press submit two more times, one, two, we'll come over here. We'll see our additional queries right here. So really, really simplistic in terms of having this set up. You see that these are the endpoints that are being called, right? Create, dump, and dump. This is just part of HTTP dumps API calls, right? This is the API integration. This is just an example, right? Just to kind of show exactly what you're going to be able to do with APIEs. So you see these are the endpoints being called. This is the JavaScript that's being generated over here for this form. Here is the front end stuff for HTML. Here is your CSS as well. You can literally copy all these in one click and have this exact same setup over here, right? You can come over and do something else as well if you wanted to change the values. Obviously, these are just examples here to show just how easy it is to get information sent over. Again, we can test this out. Just click Submit a couple more times. We're going to see the information load up right over here in real time. All the information that we wanted to see as we click in here, we're going to get all the specific information, right? This is, again, just showing how easy it is for APIs to be integrated here with APIEs. Very, very simplistic. Uh, recommend that you play around with this demo because it is kind of the easiest one to understand over here. There's a couple other demos as well uh, that we could take a look at. There's Facebook demo. There is Auth demo. All right, we can come over here and take a look at this one as well. All right, very easy to set up over here. The Shopify REST demo as well. This is really good. So coming over here and click Okay, we're going to show our products in inventory over here. This is a way then to see all of the Shopify API endpoint information. And really cool, of course, you could use this throughout your site for things like calling your inventory, calling your products, all of that, of course, hooked into that Shopify API endpoint. So let's come over here and uh, show another example over here, which I think is pretty useful. This is another example. This is just the Ageify. API. This is really mostly just used for kind of testing. I'll show you what this is. Just really just kind of a, a for fun thing. It's going to estimate the name, the age of your name, right? It's just using an algorithm to do that. We're going to integrate this. Another example in terms of how easy this is to do that. You'll see the API ease response here. I'm going to come over and put my name. All it's doing right here, as you see, it's calling the API endpoint over here at Ageify. In fact, you see the exact input that we're seeing over here. It thinks that I'm 44. It's not accurate. Come over and put any name that you want. See how old you think you are. We'll put in a, an old sounding name, only 60, okay. You see what's going on here, right? Just calling the API endpoint. Here's the uh, JavaScript that's being generated over here for it. You can copy that. Here's the front end and the CSS. Again, super simplistic, right? These are just very basic API examples, but I'm showing these because I want you to kind of understand 
what's possible. And of course, this is going to work with any API that needs credentials as well, because like I mentioned before, API Ease does an incredible job of making sure everything is 100% secure, 100% authenticated and safe when you're using any type of login credentials, username, password, keys, etc. So really powerful, again, play around with these demos, super easy to kind of run all these. How about this? The cat API returns random images of cats, right? Why does it do that? Because that's what the cat API is doing. This is just one random example of an API. I'll go ahead and click get. We're going to see what our response is. We got a little bonus here, cat and dog inside here with some hamburgers. And uh, it's pretty interesting. <clears throat> oh, this might actually be a SpongeBob thing. Anyway, let's click get again and we can generate a new image. And all we're doing is using API ease to connect to, in this case, the cat API. Here's the cat API endpoint that we're connecting to or calling to all inside of Shopify without any private apps, without any unlisted apps, without any really hard to implement code. Very, very simplistic. That's why API ease is so powerful. That's why I highly recommend it. Now that you've seen what API ease can do, let's dive into how you can actually leverage API ease for your Shopify store. I'm going to guide you through adding an HTTP dump request, testing it, and then implementing it in your storefront. And you see that we're in the Open Ease app, in the store admin, going in the request tab. And when we hit the add request button, all we need to do is paste in that HTTP address. You see some of the specifics in terms of the desired method. There's get, post, delete, put, patch, options, right? Add header, query, and body parameters as needed. And you click save. It's really all that you need to do. You can give it a name over here. It's very easy to do, very intuitive, and it takes really a lot of the hard work out of it right in this app. With API Ease, you can test API calls instantly. Find the request you've just created and click Copy and Execute. Then hit Execute API Call. You see the green icon. Head on over to HTTP Dump to verify that API Ease has successfully executed the request. This is going to confirm that all of the parameters were correctly passed. You can see that right here on the screen. Now to add this to your storefront, navigate to the request, clicking copy and execute. And this time we're going to copy the JavaScript snippet. All we need to do is paste this snippet into your custom liquid section of your storefront. Very, very easy to do. You can then verify on HTTP dump again, that the post request was executed with all parameters intact. You see that it was, then you're good to go. This is now implemented in your storefront. So that was API Ease. Pricing is really, really fair. Incredible documentation, really great support available at all times. And just super simple for you to integrate APIs into your Shopify store. If you have any questions, let me know. Hope this helps you make some money and I'll talk to you real soon.